Welcome back to The Rich Life, my name is Aaron, and before we get started, don't forget to click like and subscribe for your daily dose of celebrity content. Now let's get to it. Today we're gonna to be talking about Jack Harlow. Jack Harlow is an American rapper and songwriter who has a net worth of $5 million. Jack Harlow rose to fame with his 2020 single, What's Poppin'. He then went on to make a remix featuring the baby, Tory Lanez, and Lil Wayne. That same year, he released his debut studio album, That's What They All Say, which debuted at number five on the Billboard 200. Harlow has his first chart topper in 2021 when he collaborated with Lil Nas X on the song Industry Baby. I'm sure you've all seen the video or at least heard about it. Jack Harlow was born as Jackman Harlow on March 13th, 1998 in Louisville, Kentucky. He was brought up on a horse farm and has a younger brother named Claiborne. Harlow is of French and Irish ancestry. At the age of 12, he began rapping and used a microphone and laptop with his friend Copeland to record beats. Together, the boys made a CD called Rippin' and Rappin' and they eventually sold copies at Highland Middle School. In the seventh grade, Harlow made his first mixtape entitled Extra Credit. He also formed a group with his friend called Moose Gang. Throughout high school, Harlow performed sold out shows at a number of Louisville venues including Mercury Ballroom and the Haymarket Whiskey Bar. Harlow released his first commercial EP, The Handsome Harlow, in November of 2015. The next year, upon graduating from Arthurton High School, he released a mixtape called 18. It was the first album on his label, Private Garden. In 2017, Harlow released the singles Routine and Dark Knight, which later became the lead singles on his mixtape, Gazebo. In 2018, Harlow moved to Atlanta and took a job at a Georgia State University cafeteria to earn additional income. Shortly, he was introduced to DJ Drama, whose record label Generation now, he subsequently signed to, Harlow went on to release his major debut mixtape entitled Loose. In 2019, he released a single Through the Night and the mixtape Confetti. Harlow had his commercial breakthrough in January of 2020 when he released What's Poppin', the same single off his EP Sweet Action. Widely shared on TikTok, the song reached number two on the Billboard Hot 100 when it was re-released as a remix in June, while its music video raked up over 100 million views. Moreover, What's Poppin' was nominated as a Grammy Award for Best Rap Performance. Harlow continued his success with the singles Moana featuring g Easy and Tyler Hero. In December of 2020, Harlow put out his debut studio album, That's What They All Say. It includes guest appearances by a number of fellow artists, including Big Sean, Chris Brown, Bryson Tiller, and Adam Levine. That's What They All Say was a significant success, making it to number five on the Billboard 200 and number two on the top R&B hip hop album chart. Beyond his own music, Harlow has found great success in collaborations with other artists. In 2018, he was featured alongside 16 and Lil James on Scheme's song, Get Some. A couple years later, he was featured alongside Post Malone and The Baby on Sweetie's hit single, Tap In Remix. And was also featured alongside Lil Wayne and Quavo on the City Girls P Talk remix. Harlow had his biggest hit yet of July 2021 when he was featured in the Lil Nas X single Industry Baby and was also in the music video. The song went on to reach number one on the Billboard Hot 100, giving Harlow his first chart topping hit. Harlow's music has been noted for its combination of being emotional and having a sense of fun, as well for its reoccurring themes of sexuality, drug use, and partying. Additionally, critics have pointed out how his lyrics confront his own white privilege, while Harlow himself has acknowledged his own limitations in truly understanding the experience of racism. In terms of musical influences, Harlow has cited a bunch of artists from various genres as inspirations for his work. They include rappers Drake, Eminem, and Lil Wayne, as well as Johnny Cash, Jesse McCarthy, Willie Nelson, and Holland Oates. Harlow has also cited films as significant influences in his film, as he aims to make his songs into works that recall short films. Alongside his favorite directors are Alfred Hitchcock and Martin Scorsese. And while he's busy recording number one singles and going viral on TikTok with the infectious Fergie sampled first class, Jack is also the talk of the town when it comes to his love life. So, who is Jack Harlow dating? Does he have a girlfriend? And who has he been linked to in the past? Jack Harlow and fellow rapper Sweetie set the internet spinning following their flirty exchange at the BET Awards in 2021. Jack, who had previously featured on the remix of Sweetie's song Tap In, crashed on one of Sweetie's interviews on the red carpet to introduce himself to the Bay Area beauty. In the video clip that went viral, Jack was seen shaking Sweetie's hand and saying, you don't like getting caught off guard. Sweetie then responded by asking Jack Harlow why he is shaking, to which Jack replies, nobody's shaking. A photo of the pair locking eyes during the event added fuel to the fire as fans began dissecting the interaction online. However, Jack later clarified that he was simply saying hello rather than shooting a shot. You can't say hello these days, I guess, Jack said, saying that he's a nice person, he added. Jack was romantically linked to social media star Addison Rae in April 2021 after the pair were reportedly spotted together at a boxing match in Atlanta. According to a post on TikTok Room, Rae had recently split with her on and off again boyfriend Bryce Hall at the time, who was seen alongside Harlow at the trailer fight camping boxing match. The account also claimed obsessed singer Addison has been hanging out with the rapper and had liked some of his Instagram posts. However, Ray later took to Twitter to dismiss the claims tweeting, I'm single. We're gonna talk about Doja Cat real quick now. They went on an Instagram live together. Immediately, there was some friendly and flirty sparks. She started the live by saying, I need to charge my phone. And he then replied, I need to talk to you for a second though. And then they bantered back and forth. She eventually said, you know who I am? They then went on to talk a bit, but she quickly left the live after saying her wig was coming off. He told her that he loves her as she left, but she didn't really say anything. Now, after she left, he did say that he's had 
had a crush on her for months and he got all giddy and said his tummy felt good. Now they may be super compatible, but probably not in that way, but Jack Harlow and Lil Nas X have a little fun friendship. One time Lil Nas X was doing an interview for Entertainment Tonight at the VMAs, where Jack decided to crash the interview and Lil Nas started by saying, don't say anything sus, and automatically you could tell that they're bros, even outside of their industry baby collab. But I feel like their relationship is also pretty significant because of how the rap game is. It's mainly filled with straight men who rap about women and luxury, but doesn't show the other side of what's happening. And what I mean is that there isn't really a queer representation, and Lil Nas X is very open about his sexuality. So Lil Nas X is an American rapper, singer, and songwriter who has a net worth of $7 million. Lil Nas X is probably best known for his single Old Town Road, which famously mixed rap and country genres together for a totally unique sound. Although the single first went viral on TikTok, it eventually charted well in a number of countries and earned a diamond certification in 2019. He's the only LGBTQ person to ever win a country music award. Today, Lil Nas X is considered to be one of the most influential people on the internet. So Lil Nas was also best known for creating a Twitter fan page account for Nicki Minaj, and he'd begun this in 2017. He actually got in trouble with Twitter for allegedly tweet decking, which is the process of creating multiple accounts in order to help posts go viral. Although he initially denied being connected with the Nicki Minaj fan account, he came clean in 2020 and admitted that he had to hide the truth because he thought people would assume that he was gay after seeing how many accounts he dedicated to Nicki. At the time these allegations had started, he did not come out. Nicki Minaj later berated Lil Nas X for hiding the fact that he was a fan while simultaneously congratulated him. So yeah, he's also a barb. Lil Nas X has opened up to two celebrities who he had approached to feature on his debut album Montero, and during an interview with GQ, he revealed that despite asking Drake and Nicki Minaj to collaborate with him in some songs, the two declined his offer. But Jack Harlow got lucky. He recently been hanging around Drake a lot, and they even made a song together called Churchill Downs. The two were seen at a horse racing event, which was set up for their music video, and PETA also was very upset about that, and they demanded that they donate their earnings to them. But I feel like that's a bit of a reach. That's the first time that Jack's being called out. The singer, songwriter, and actress Brandy Norwood was pretty upset with Jack Harlow a few months ago. Jack went on to do an interview with Hot 97 and they did a music trivia game with him where he failed to know some very important things. He was listening to Angel of Mine, a song from Brandy, and the host gave him hints to who the singer was. And one hint was, it's Ray J's older sister. And Jack had no clue who that was. He went on to say, who's Ray J's sister? They eventually revealed that it was Brandy and he had no clue. Initially, Brandy was pretty upset about the fact because she thinks he's benefiting so much from black culture, but has no clue about its history, and she definitely helped shape the 90s, so I can see where she's coming from. She then went on to tweet, I will murk this dude and rap at 43 on his own beat and then sing his ass to sleep. She eventually made a surprise performance with him at the 2022 BET Culture Awards, and she had her own verse in his song First Class, which was sampled by Fergie from the Black Eyed Peas. But let me know what you think in the comments below about Jack Harlow in the rap game. Do you think he should have been called out? What are your thoughts about him as a rapper? What do you think about him and Doja Cat? Do you think they'd be a cute couple? Let me know in the comments below because we're all here for it. My name is Aaron. Thanks for checking out The Rich Life and we'll see you soon.